Post notification shout out goes to OVX God. Thank you for showing support on the video. All right, guys, if you would like to win a post notification shout out in the beginning of my videos, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, then leave a comment saying you did so in the comment section below. All right, what's up, guys? It is Watt here, and I get tons of requests every single day of people asking how to set up your VPN to your PS3, Xbox, PS4, whatever the case may be. I'm going to explain how to set up your VPN to your PS3 and your Xbox with wirelessly and with an Ethernet cable. So I'm just going to start off with PS3 here, and we're going to go with wireless connection first. Now what you want to do is download something called Connectify. You can get the free version, you do not have to pay for this. In this case, I'm using the max version of Connectify, so I can rename my hotspot name, password, all that good stuff. And yeah, you do not have to have the paid version. I bought it a while ago. So all you wanna do is you wanna get your VPN first. Now, whatever VPN you are using, it does not matter. I'm using Speedify in this case. You just wanna turn on that VPN, all right? So once that VPN is on, you want to close Connectify. You can just turn on VPN first and then open Connectify, but you want to have your VPN before you open Connectify usually, or sometimes it just won't come up as the VPN is on. But in this case, it's already on. It's showing right here. It's like lit up. It usually would be darker if the VPN is not on. But what you want to do is make sure Internet to Share is the name of your VPN. And then you want to make sure network access is on routed you can change or rooted my bad. I don't know I don't know dude but hotspot name can be whatever you want I have it as WD services it does not matter you might not be able to change if you're on the free version and the password it does not matter either you other people can't connect to it unless it's on your internet and then for firewall you can have all these on I prefer to turn off ad blocker so it's a little bit smoother internet connection because you do not need ad blocker on PS3 obviously so then after that all you want to do is press start hotspot and it's gonna take a bit to start, depending on your computer. Now mine just started right back up, and it automatically connected to my PS3 because I just tried to record this video before and I lost all the footage. But in this case, it's showing your IP address is exposed, your location exposed. Sometimes it does pop that up, and sometimes it says that they are not exposed. I forget exactly what it says. Sometimes it says it's secured, I think it says. So if it says it's not secured, all you want to do is press that button I just pressed, which is called secure your location. Or secure, I think that's what it is, like secure your internet or whatever. So I just press that and I'm just going to press start hotspot again. And now it says that my IP address and location is secure. That's what you want to make sure it says this. If it does not say that, then you're, obviously your IP address and your location is not secure. So once you press that, usually it will not automatically connect. Now. If it does, then obviously you know how to do this already. But in this case, you, it would not automatically connect. To make it connect, what you want to do is go to your internet settings on your PS3, press internet connection settings, press OK, and it's going to load up. Press easy. Okay, now it's going to disconnect me since you know I disconnected the internet on my computer or on my PS3. So it's the exact same steps will show for you. You want to press wirelessly. Press scan. Now the name of your VPN or your hotspot will pop up on your PS3. In this case, my hotspot name is WD Services, so I'm gonna click on that, go you know, all the way to the right, it's gonna ask for your password. Wherever your password shows up on the hotspot is your password. In this case, my password is WD Services. So I'm gonna type that in, and once I type it in, it will connect me to the hotspot, which will connect me to Speedify, which my internet will be secure. So it is checking network configuration, and right now, it just connected me to my hotspot as you can see on my screen it says it's connected and now it's it usually does disconnect right after you press ok or, or like in that area so you just want to sit at your XMB it'll pop right back up don't worry about it and there it is I haven't done anything it just pops right back up and for example I'm gonna sign in so you guys know for sure that I can log in and it doesn't give me an error so I'm signing into PS3 right now and I just signed right in and obviously everything is good so that is the way to connect to your ps3 wirelessly on a vpn all right guys so now i'm going to be showing you how to set up the ethernet connection to your ps3 
So first, before you even connect to your VPN, make sure your Ethernet cable is connected into the back of your PS3 and the back of your computer. So now, once you have done that, you want to get go to your VPN and just press connect. In this case, I'm using Spyproof, which I recommend, I highly recommend. You can pay for this VPN lifetime for only $20. I'll put the link in the description. It's a very good VPN. I 100% recommend it. So make sure you guys go check it out. The prices are very cheap, too. So, um, yeah, guys, make sure you connect. You can press DDoS detection or DDoS protection if you want. And, um, yeah, press connect, and it takes a little bit in a few minutes to connect. All right now, it says VPN preparing entry created. Now the VPN is connected. So once your VPN is connected, you want to go down to your internet, press open network and internet settings, and you want to scroll down to a change adapter settings, and it's going to go right to here. Your PS3 Ethernet cable will keep saying identifying, and it won't identify your PS3, and um, until you connect your VPN. So what's what you want to do is you want to check uh, what network is connected for your VPN. Now this is the one that turned on when I turned on Spyproof. This is something else. This is for when it's only connected to my computer. So what I want to do is right click on my VPN adapter. I want to press sharing, allow. And I want to press my PS3, um, like my PS3 on the Ethernet. So in this case, it's this one. And I just want to press OK on it, and now it will pop up unidentified network. And sometimes it might cut out. Sometimes it will stay on there. But to verify, what you want to do is go to Internet Connection Settings. You want to go to Easy, and it should identify the Ethernet cable right away. If it does not, you can go to Custom and connect to it there. But in this case, it's a connection method wired connection so obviously it connected to my VPN and then you want to just uh, go exit out of that and press sign in and it should sign you right on and you should be connected to your PS3 with an Ethernet cable so I just logged right in these connections are shared and you guys you're running now running on a VPN with an Ethernet cable now I'll show you guys how to do that both on an Xbox 360. All right, guys. So now I'm showing you how to connect to your Xbox 360 with the VPN on a wireless connection. Now, once again, if you watch the PS3 version or if you just skip to this, what you're going to do is turn on your VPN. And once your VPN is turned on, which it is, you're going to download Connectify. Or well, first you want to download Connectify. You need Connectify for this. And I don't know if you watched the beginning of this or just skip to this part. But you're going to have to download Connectify. Connectify is so you can host a hotspot to your Xbox, which can host your VPN. Now, the link to this hotspot will be in the description below, but you can use the free version or whatever. But once you have Connectify, what you want to do is connect to your VPN and then launch Connectify once your VPN is connected. You want to go to Internet to share, press on your VPN, make sure Internet access is unrouted or rooted, however you say that, I don't care. You want to have your hotspot name to whatever, your password to whatever. You can put whatever you want for firewall, just make sure you have allow local network access and allow internet access. And then you just want to press start hotspot. And once your hotspot is started, then you should be able to go onto your Xbox and I'll show you what to do then. So my hotspot is now connected, or not connected. Now it is on, it is uh, it's sharing there you go that's a better word for it and as long as your privacy your IP address is secure your location is here you're good to go so now you want to go to your Xbox switch oh not not profile don't don't go to profile you want to go to settings you want to go to network settings and you want to find your hotspot which is WD services in my case and then you want to type in your password for your hotspot which mine is WD services so I'm going to type in my hotspot or my password for my hotspot real quick Shoot, dude, I cannot type. And then once you do that, press done, and it's going to test your internet. So you want to press yes, it's going to test the internet. And now it shows up on my screen, as you guys can see, that it connected to my hotspot. And now it's going to test the connection, and you guys will see. So network and internet are connected. Now it is testing Xbox Live. OK, 
Okay, now it said Xbox Live is connection. It's going to give you this little connection warning. And that's because, obviously, VPN will make your internet go slower. But you can still sign in and play online and all that. You're just going to have to get used to a little bit of lag. It's better than getting hit offline. Now, you want. I'm just going to show you guys that I can sign in real quick. So I'm just signing into my WD Lobbies account just to show you guys one last time that I am connected to my VPN and it is working. So now WD Lives Lobbies sign into Xbox Live and there you guys go. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to do the Ethernet cable for the Xbox 360 now. So all you got to do is, you know, connect to your VPN once again and make sure your Ethernet cable is, it depends on what console you are on. Sometimes you do not want the Ethernet cable inside the console right away. Like for an RGH, if you have the Ethernet cable already in and you try turning on the Xbox, it's going to automatically turn on the Ethernet cable and you can't even get past the boot logo. So you want to be careful with that. Sometimes for for my console, for an RGH, what you want to do is you want to turn on the console first and load to the dash so you're on your normal connection and then plug in the Ethernet cable and then try and connect. So I do not have my Ethernet cable in right now. And I'm going to plug in my Ethernet cable in now since I already connected my VPN. Okay, so now my Ethernet cable is plugged into my Xbox. And I'm going to go down to my internet, right click on open network, change adapter options, and you're going to move this over to here and what you're gonna do is it's the same thing right here you want to right click on this your VPN connection go to sharing press allow on share and press ok and then it will share with um, your Xbox connection whatever that is and once it is shared to that you want to go to your settings your Xbox go to system go to network settings and wired connection it automatically connected once my wired connection went into my xbox that's what i was talking about so now i'm going to test my xbox live connection and i'll show you guys that it does work so network connected now it's testing the internet and internet is connected and now testing xbox live And now Xbox Live is connected. This is just a connection warning. So you can just ignore it if you get it. But everything is connected. The connection is not the best when you are running. Uh, it depends on the VPN, really, on the connection. But obviously it is connected and I can sign in. I'll show you guys I can sign in. But when you are running a VPN, your connection is not going to be the best. You guys are going to have to get used to that. When you are running on a VPN, either wirelessly or with an Ethernet cable, either way, the connection is not going to be the best. So I'm going to sign into my account right now and just prove it to you guys that you can, that this does work. Alright, there you guys go. WD Lobbies signed into Xbox Live. 